Okay. I'm going to do a show what I do with the scene list. And um, before I get started, I wanted to show you real quick how I do some setup stuff. For example, this chapter here, if I want to make another chapter, chapter 11, if I just hit duplicate, it's giving me 11, and then I do it again, it's giving me 12. And the reason that it's doing that is because when it opens up, it gives you just chapter, and it's just a plain, it says nothing else, just chapter. And when you duplicate that plain just chapter, it makes this chapter 1. And then um, you duplicate it again, and it'll make it two and three and so forth. And you can just delete that plain chapter, and it's got all your numbers for you. You don't have to type it in every time. It makes it so much faster to just go all the way down, and you're done. Um, the other thing I do, and I don't like the colors I've done, so I'm going to change it. So I thought I'd just save this and show you. Um, I change this. This usually would say sta um, label and then status, but I change it so that it says point of view. And these colors, I'm not, they're just way too dark. I thought I would be able to stand it, but I can't. So I'm trying to get a grayer green, a little bit darker maybe. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to go with Michael. I'm going to take him down to much grayer blue. Let's get some blue here, a little less purple in the blue. And bring him up there. And he's still a little purpley. There we go. We got some blue, but I went down in the gray more. All right. I like so. Okay. And then we're going to give Sally, unfortunately, she's going to end up in some pink because there's just no way to get around that. Um, let's move you over here. All right. Because I just want lighter colors. I can't take it. Okay. So I'm giving myself, um, this book is probably only going to have one character point of view, although I may need more than one because she actually knows things he doesn't, and I don't know that I can get away without showing that, but hey, we're just going to assume as much and go from there. So here's what I do. I have a scene list up here. Um, I've labeled it notes over here. Here's, here's some scenes that I plan to do. Um, I will probably also have, um, messed up baby shower, definitely want that, um, caroling gone wrong with ghost, all right, so there's going to be a few things in here that, you know, are pretty cool, so what um, this is supposed to actually be gone. I messed that up. Okay, so what I do, let's see, we're just right here. And you can just do like so and enter a bunch of times and you get yourself some, some things. And then you go into your scene list and you've created the scene list, right? Well, if I want this scene... Uh, that seems probably actually not going to exist, but if I want that, I just, I copy and paste. And I just put them in there. And off they go. And, let's see. Let's see. And one after the other. Until... You know, I get a bunch done. Now, I'm not I'm not going to go ahead and finish all these yet. But let's say this one needed to happen first. I can just move it there. I can move it wherever I want. And then, like we have here, um, this is going to be Mitchell. This will definitely be Mitchell. Um, let's say, let's pretend that I'm calling her Sally because I can't remember her name. Sally notices that he's arrived. He's going to explore the house. That's got to be Mitchell. But maybe um, meeting Sally, because she's the antique neighbor, maybe that's going to be from her perspective. Okay, so we've got, we've got these things. When I go to write, I, it's my very first day, I'm sitting down, I'm going to write, I'm writing on chapter one. Well, I'm just going to move this scene down from this list in here and get going. Done. 
And then, you know, there'll be like 20 of these lists and I know what each one of them is and I can put them in, in chapters right away if I want to. Like if I know the midpoint scene, I'll take it to the middle of the book and I'll put it in there and then I know what I'm kind of working toward and what I'm not. And it's just, it's all super easy and done. And then if I go to scene list, see I've got my colors and I can see who's where and I can tell from this, you know, if I'm getting enough screen time for each person, if I've got more than one point of view and and voila but you know you've got your whole list of of all the scenes and this is not all the scenes in my book obviously i've just thrown out some and some of these aren't even going in there but you know there's your basic idea and then boom you're done so